Welcome to Seto Platoon. I am Seto Narukami. Starting today, I'm your commander. First, let's have everyone introduce themselves. Tell us what your powers are. It's best to be familiar with the type of powers in your platoon. For example, my power is electrokinesis. All right, you first, Hanabi. Understood. I'm Hanabi Ichijo. My power is pyrokinesis. Happy to be here. Nagi Carmen. My power is air manipulation. It was my dream to be in the OSF. I'm honored to serve under Septentrion 7th Class Captain Narukami. I'm Yuito Sumuragi. My power is psychokinesis. I was saved by an OSF trooper as a child. I'll do my best to repay that debt. Oh, so you're the famous Yuito. You were all over the news last night. They said the Sumuragi boy drove off the others. How did it feel to be in the fray? Enough messing around, Kagero. Introduce yourself. Yes, Captain. Okay, all you babies of the 567th class. I'm Kagero Dawn, the late blooming genius. Only you call yourself that. You're so harsh, Captain. So, Yuito and Nagi, you're volunteer soldiers? I'm an adult, so we're in the same boat. Nice to meet everyone. I'm sure we'll get along. What does he mean by adult? Adults are OSF troops who weren't scouted until later in life. You didn't know? They're like us that volunteered for the OSF instead of being scouted. Basically fodder. That's right. I'm just trash here, but I do my best. Let's work together to stay alive. Don't worry about how you got here. Only the strong and highly thought of survive in this world. Worrying about what others think is pointless, okay? Next is Wataru. I'm Wataru Fraser. My power is reading thoughts, basically telepathy. Tsukumi Nazar, my power is clairvoyance. Nice to meet you. So, it's a platoon full of weirdos. We should fit right in with the rest of the OSF. Everyone do your best. Moving on. We'll start with guard duty as your hands-on training. We'll go in two-man teams. Nagi's with me, Kagura with Sugumi, and Hanabi with Yuito. Connect your SAS with each other. Get ready and reconvene at the entrance to Kikuchiba in one hour. That is all. Dismissed. Long time no see, Yuito. Hanabi! What's it been, two years? Who would have thought we'd get put in the same platoon? You know Miss Ichijo? Call me Hanabi. Yuito and I are childhood friends. Wow, but we didn't see you at all as cadets. Oh, I was scouted. I see. The training areas for scouted and volunteer soldiers are different, so no wonder. I guess you're an elite, Hanabi. No, I'm not. Hey, do you know Naomi Randall? The Randall sisters? I know them. Those two are the real elites. Kasane was scouted by the OSF when she was 12. She was scouted that young? Huh? You know Kasane? Yeah. We fought others together yesterday. What? You mean that other attack? No way. Kasane didn't say anything about it. Are you friends with the Randall sisters? Not really. I talk to Naomi a lot, but Kasane is... I'm pretty sure the only one friendly with Kasane is Naomi. Oh, really? Can you introduce me to Naomi? Oh, so that's how it is. Naomi is cute. Hey, you three. Quit your jabbering and get to Kikuchiba. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir! See you later. I can't believe my first assignment is with you. I'm excited. Hey, Yuito, wait up. Yes, what is it? Uh, Mr. Wataru? Uh, you can just call me Wataru. There's a notification for you about Bias. Looks like they messed up. Bias? It's an OSF-developed brain assistance system that amplifies and helps maximize your power. Every year they choose subjects to gather combat data on the system, and this year, you're one of them. I won't sugarcoat it. 
It's still in development, so it's unstable, and the side effects aren't clear. Uh, so they want me to be a guinea pig? Sorry if I scared you. They've done tests before, so that people who aren't compatible aren't selected. So don't worry too much. Either way, it's an order, so you can't refuse. Just try starting it up. It should have installed with all the other systems. Is this right? Nothing seems different except for visuals. The system works in your brain, using your power to display visions. Powers are just the ability to visualize. They get stronger the more you focus on them. This will make connecting to SAS smoother, too. It'll still hurt a lot, though. I think I got the gist of it. Thank you for explaining all of this to me. Even though I told you not to worry, there are some nasty rumors about bias causing people to lose their minds or become emotionally unstable. So if you feel strange at all, don't strain yourself. Okay, thanks. I'll be careful. Well, that's it for me. Oh, and you don't have to be all polite with me. Just take it easy. All right, don't be late for your mission. I'm a little worried about being an experiment. Well, I guess it won't change anything. Okay, I'll head to Kikuchiba when I'm ready. Let's welcome our new members for this year. Kasane, Naomi, introduce yourselves. Kasane Randall, my power is psychokinesis. Pleased to meet you. Is that all? You seem shyer than I thought. All right, next. Yes, ma'am. I'm Naomi Randall. I'm Kasane's older sister, and my power is precognition. I can only see the immediate future, though. I'll do my best to help everyone out. I don't have much experience, but I'm glad to be here. That was a very good introduction, Naomi. The Randall sisters are our new members. Kasane graduated at the top of her class, and Naomi was fifth. They're both intelligent and very talented. That being said, they're just little ducklings who barely have their footing, so you all need to help them out. Now I'd like to welcome Shiden, who transferred from Kodama Platoon. Please introduce yourself. Shiden Ritter. My power is electrokinesis. I don't plan on being your friend. Looks like you're still in your rebellious phase. What? Let's see. Gemma, you know Shiden, right? He's stubborn, so he didn't fit in with Kodama Platoon. But he's a real hard worker. Everyone be nice to him. Don't make fun of me! No one's making fun of you. I know you'll be nervous at first, but try to get along with everyone. We're a family here in Kyoka Platoon. Think of me as your mother. You can talk to me about anything. <laughs> oh, right. I guess I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Kyoka Eden, and my power is duplication. I'm leader of the 8th Company of the 1st Regiment and commander of 1st Platoon. Everyone else, introduce yourselves. Gemma Garrison. My power is Galerokinesis. Nice to meet you. I guess there are no volunteer soldiers here. Volunteer soldiers? People that joined the OSF because they wanted to, not because they were scouted. They're trash compared to scouts like us. Shiden, I won't have discrimination like that in my platoon. It's not discrimination, it's just a distinction. Take it back. Sorry. Um, I guess I'm last? I'm Haruka Frazier. My power is telepathy. Nice to meet all of you. Good. Now that everyone's been introduced, it's time for your on-the-job training. We'll be operating in teams of two. Kasane and Shiden, Gemma and Naomi, connect your SAS. I'll support everyone as commander. We'll rendezvous at Mizu Hagawa in one hour. Dismissed. Hey, Kasane. I'm team leader. Got that? I'm worried. What? 
You don't think I have what it takes? Huh? What are you yelling about? What? You... Sorry, but I'm going to get myself on a different team. Where does a new scout like you get the gall to make fun of me? Are you an idiot? What? <laughs> Kasane! We're all in the same platoon, so we have to get along. Sorry about that, Chiden. Why are you apologizing? I'm just worried about being separated from you. I'll go ahead and talk to the Major. Kasane, despite my looks, I'm the commander here. I'm much stronger than you, so don't worry. Also, from what I saw of her results, Naomi is a great fighter. You should believe in her. Understood, Major. Good. Remember to be nice to Shiden. Let's go, Naomi. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's connect our SAS. I'm the leader. What? You have a hearing problem? No! Good. Let's go, and don't fall behind. We're going to Mizuhagawa. You little... Kasane, hold up a second. You're Haruka, right? Yeah, nice to meet you. I have a message for you concerning bias. Seems like I missed you in the original communication. Sorry. Bias? It's the name of a brain assistance system that amplifies and helps maximize your power. It's being developed by the OSF. Every year they choose subjects to gather combat data on the system. You've been chosen as one of them. It's still in development, so it's unstable and they're not sure of the side effects. So they want me to be a guinea pig. What am I supposed to do? I'm glad you catch on quick. Well, it's in order, so you can't refuse anyways. Try starting it up. I think it finished installing along with other systems. Is this it? Nothing really changed. The system is working in your brain, using your power to make visions visible. Powers are just the ability to visualize in the end. They get stronger the more you focus on them. SAS connection should be smoother as well. Unfortunately, the pain never gets any better. I got the gist of it. I just need to keep it activated at all times. Also, this is just a rumor, but I thought you should know. Some say bias can cause people to lose their minds or become emotionally unstable. So take it easy. Tell me right away if you notice anything strange. Sure, I'll tell you if I do. Sorry to take your time. Don't be late for your mission. See ya. An experiment. I wonder if it'll work. Well, worrying about it won't change anything. The rendezvous was at Mizuhagawa. I'll head out when I'm ready. So, we're all here. Captain Narukami, may I ask a question? You don't have to be so formal. We call each other by our first names in the OSF so we can strengthen our bonds. Most of us don't look our age. Ranks are there just to calculate pay. The OSF only values strength. Remember that. That's the gist of it. So what was your question? Right. Um... Wataru... isn't here yet. Wataru is this platoon's operator. He'll direct us from headquarters. My power allows me to communicate telepathically without the system's assistance, up to around 500 kilometers. That being said, it's a lot of work. So join the group. Open your personal port. Team leaders will be Nagi, Yuito, and Sugumi. Each of you, listen to Wataru's orders and move to the designated goal. Try to take down any others along the way. Retreat is allowed if you think you can't handle it, but reach your goal. That's all. Understood. Okay. See you later. Good luck. Everyone's here. Major Eden, may I ask a question? Oh, Naomi. We call each other by our first names in the OSF. Don't be so formal. No one looks their age here. And our ranks? They're just words on paper. The OSF only recognizes strength. 
I don't like to say we judge on strength alone, but that's mostly how it is. So, what was your question? R right. Haruka isn't here yet. I wonder if something happened. Haruka is our platoon's operator. She directs us from the back with telepathy. Can you hear me? I'm able to communicate telepathically within a 500 kilometer radius without the system's assistance. It's draining though, so I need you to join the group. Naomi, Kasane, open your personal ports. The team leaders are Naomi and... Oh, Kasane? That's awfully nice of you, Shiden, letting the new scout be leader. No, I... I thought it would be best this way, so I volunteered. Huh? Well, well. <laughs> it's big of you to go along with that, Shiden. <sighs> okay, let's get this mission on the road. Follow Haruka's navigation to the specified goal. Take out any and all others you see along the way. If you decide not to fight, I authorize you to retreat. That's all. Copy that. Okay, be careful. Don't provoke Sheedan too much. This place is incredible! The city is above and below us. It feels like I'm in a VR from a theme park I went to when I was a kid. It used to serve as the connection base to Togetsu. The city infrastructure was destroyed in an other attack about five years ago. So, what you see is what remains. Togetsu is the stronghold of the Togetsu faith, right? It's kind of like a cult. Don't say that out loud. Kagura was a believer. He was even a priest at one time. What? That guy is a priest? Hey, you do realize I can hear you, right? Don't forget. Our platoon's headsets are all connected. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. My parents were believers, so I just naturally became a priest. I don't care about the teachings at all. Now that Kikuchiba is like this, you hardly ever see people coming to Suo from the church anymore. What's that drone doing? Oh, damn. They found us even though we were jamming them. Crows, Captain. So they sniffed us out. Look alive, everyone. Crows? And the press. Guys, the crows will make a big deal out of this. Let's make it exciting. The new urban development ward? What a boring assignment. It doesn't matter if a mission is boring or not. You're such an idiot. No real others come out here. It's the perfect place to train cadets. When your power gets as strong as mine... What's that drone? Oh man! They found us even though we were jamming them. Major Kyoka, crows. What? I didn't know we had any crow bait with us. Crows? Do you mean the press? They're probably after little Miss Randall. She's a hero that saves civilians. No, Kadama Platoon is in the restricted area farther in. They're probably here for Arashi. Poor Arashi, always surrounded by crows. <laughs> I finally got out of Kodama Platoon, but I still end up fighting along with them? Listen up, everyone. I know the crows will be in your way, but try not to get distracted. Yuito's team is the first to the objective. Nice going. Yeah. Hey. Do you hear something? Good instincts, Yuito. I'm getting other readings nearby. No. Wait. This is a major other. Captain, Sugumi, a major other has appeared at the objective. Major others are others that have killed OSF members in the past. Captain! It'll take a few minutes for the rest of the teams to arrive. This may be rough for rookies, but hold out. Yuito! Hanabi! Look alive! <laughs>
guess we've got no choice. Hanabi, let's go! Alright, I'm ready. Wow, Team Kasane is first to the goal. Uh, Team Shiden would have been first too. Shh, something's here. Good one. You picked up on the other before I did. Wait a minute. This one's a major other. Major? Gemma? A major other has appeared at the objective. Major others are others that killed OSF members in the past. Yes. Here it comes. I'll intercept. We'll be there in a few minutes. Just hold on. Contact with a major other. Don't overdo it, Kasane. Shiren, follow her lead. Now we're talking. Hope you're ready to see how strong I am. Quit barking then. It's time to show me some bite. <laughs> Did we do it? Are you okay? All of you, stay back or you'll get hurt. Sumeragi, let's hear from him. Thanks. How do you feel? Uh, I'm glad we were able to defeat the other. Your first victory on your first deployment. Was it satisfying? Um, uh, I can't answer you very well myself. Please, ask the commander. Subtentry on 7th class, Captain Seto Narukami. How did Private Sumeragi do? Both Yuito and Hanabi fought very well. The fact that Private Sumeragi was put under your command, Captain, must mean that the top brass thinks highly of you. That's something you'll have to ask my superiors about. We're pulling out. The mission doesn't end until we get to Suo. Keep your eyes open. Understood. No sign of the crows. Looks like they got their sights on Yuito this year. What do you mean, this year? Every year, the Crows latch on to whoever stands out among the rookies. He or she becomes their new star. It's gonna be rough here on out. What? Oh, man. That just means you'll be in the limelight. You may get tons of interview requests. Maybe they'll put him on the PR magazine like Arashi. Could be. They don't know when to quit. Yuito, I know it'll be a pain, but don't answer directly. Just evade any questions. Yeah, I'll do my best. Here they come. Ah, oh, looks like Sugumi found the crows. Okay, we'll keep this short. That's the end of this assignment. From now on, our orders will be sent directly from above. You can't refuse a deployment order. Go to the designated place at the designated time and carry out your mission. You can take on suppression assignments and training at your leisure, but don't slack off too much. Crows. They'll be here soon. We're jamming them, but it's just a matter of time. If you have any further questions, ask Wataru. Okay, back to Suo. Captain, can I be excused here? I want to make a stop. Do you have to do it right now? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, yeah, fine. Do whatever you want. Love you, Captain. Hey, 
Did we do it? What the hell do you think you're doing? I can protect myself, thank you very much. <laughs> Victory! The Scarlet Guardians have won! <sighs> the hero of this fight is, of course, Second Lieutenant Kasane Randall, who took down a major other on her first assignment. Congratulations, Lieutenant Randall. Let's hear what she has to say. How do you feel? Oh. You must be tired. Your first victory on your first deployment. Isn't that satisfying? She didn't give all the orders. Ask him about it. What? So sorry I'm late. That was a good fight. Oh dear. Poor Sheedan. This is Arashi. Sorry, looks like you caught the crow's attention. Arashi! You're right, they got Sheedan. We'll take them. That's not like you. Kodama gets depressed if there are no crows around. Hi! Captain Arashi Spring! We're about to do a full sweep for others. Looking forward to seeing all you reporters there. Oh, they're finally gone. Let's go back to Suo, everyone. Copy that. Oh, Seto. The pampered Sumeragi kid. What's with the attitude? Wait, Naomi? Oh, Nagi and Yuito. Naomi and Kasane. Hi. Good job today. Gyoka, are you training rookies too? Yes, we got a bunch of cuties again this year, so I have to do my best. My guys are doing well. Hey, Kasane, was it? How was training? I think I did as well as I could. Good. <sighs> Kasane? Wait. What is it, Naomi? Uh, oh, um, are you all right? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I just saw you on Himuka TV. You looked way too composed to be a rookie. I was very impressed. Uh, thank you. Uh. Kyoka Platoon, everyone except team leaders is dismissed. Team leaders, come with me to headquarters. Same for us. Team leaders to headquarters. Uh... Kasane? What? Um... Have we... met somewhere before? We fought an other together. Did you forget? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Not that. Uh... So, you have a sister. You mean Naomi? Did you get hit in the head? <sighs> You're weird. But your power was pretty good. Good luck. Oh, uh, thanks. Hey, Yuito. So you're friends with the Randall sisters? If that seemed friendly to you, then you're weird as well. Really? I'm heading back to headquarters. Keep chatter to a minimum outside. Crows are after you. I'll go back to headquarters with you. Is that Yuito? Looks like he's in Seto Platoon. Damn. Why did he get in Seto Platoon? Good work today, everyone. We had some trouble, but nobody got hurt. So it was a good day. Your assignment for today is over. Your next orders will be sent directly from the higher-ups. You can't deny a deployment order. So go to the designated place and time and carry them out. Suppression missions and training can be taken on as you please. You should think about participating if you have the free time. Oh, Seto. 
the pampered Sumeragi kid. What's with the attitude? Wait, Naomi? Oh, Nagi and Yuito. Naomi and Kasane. Hi. Good job today. Gyoka, are you training rookies too? Yes. We got a bunch of cuties again this year, so I have to do my best. My guys are doing well. Hey, Kasane, was it? How was training? I think I did as well as I could. Good. <sighs> Kasane? Wait. What is it, Naomi? Uh, oh, um, are you all right? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I just saw you on Himuka TV. You looked way too composed to be a rookie. I was very impressed. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh. Kyoka Platoon, everyone except team leaders is dismissed. Team leaders, come with me to headquarters. Same for us. Team leaders to headquarters. Uh, Kasane? What? Um, have we met somewhere before? We fought an other together. Did you forget? Oh, no. <laughs> Not that. Uh, so, you have a sister. You mean Naomi? Did you get hit in the head? <sighs> You're weird. But your power was pretty good. Good luck. Oh, uh... Thanks. Are you done talking to them? Major, what do you think of him? Him? You mean Yuito? Hmm. I didn't actually hear the full details, but rumor has it that Major General Karin has his eye on him. I see. That doesn't tell me if he's good enough for Naomi or not. Well, let's go back to headquarters. We have to let Haruka know we're returning. I'll go with you, Kasane. I'm leaving now. Hey, it's Major General Karin Travers. Keep your voice down, you idiot. Private Yuito Sumeragi. <sighs> I heard you were getting chased around by the crows. Yes, sir. They're just like mosquitoes in the winter. Powerless, but annoying. So use them instead. It's easier to climb the ranks with some notoriety. You'll also learn a thing or two under Seto's leadership. Anyway, keep at it. I expect big things from you. Lucky you. Major General Karin apparently has had an eye on your talent since you were still a cadet. What? Really? Yes. A Septentrion First Class thinks you're promising. Don't let him down. Major General Karin's faith in me. It doesn't seem to be because of my brother. He doesn't seem the type. Oh, crap. I can't stop myself from smiling. Anyway, could you go report to Wataru? I'm going to go check on Kagero. Uh, why? It seems like he stayed behind in Kikuchiba, and I'm a little concerned. Oh, yes, and Nagi, you entered a prohibited area back there. Write and submit an incident report immediately. Oh. Wow, a Septentrion like Kara knows you. He must really see something in you. It's so amazing that you managed to get his attention. <laughs> yeah. But I'm a volunteer soldier. You're finally here. I got so tired of waiting for you that I dragged myself out. Hurry up and give me your mission report to put on record. I want to get this over with so I can go play some games. It's a distress signal. We have to go. I'm coming too. You were told to write up an incident report, Nagi. But Yuito is going. Hanabi, please go see Wataru for me. And could you help Nagi write his report? I'll head over to Mizuhagawa. What? what? Yuito, be careful. It must be bad if Arashi is asking for help. You're backing me up. I'm counting on you. Oh, Kodama. I thought you were in Mizuhagawa. <laughs> I just got back. 
Are you taking care of the rookies, Kyoka? Good work, Kyoka. You're an excellent mentor, so I'm sure the rookies will feel comfortable with you. It's an honor to hear that from you, Major General Fubuki. You must be Kasane and Naomi. I'm sorry the crows showed up on your first mission. Why are you apologizing, Major General Fubuki? Those crows were actually out there for Arashi, so I guess you could say I feel responsible. I see. I saw your grades from the Academy. You both have great powers. I'm sure you'll hear a lot from outsiders. But do your best and don't let that distract you. I'm counting on you. That was good, you two. <laughs> that was great, Kasane. Good for us? Major General Fubuki is Septentry on second class. It's so cool that he said he was counting on us. If you say so. Since he acknowledged you, I guess Major General Fubuki is a good man. Welcome back. I saw the Major through the window, so I thought I'd come meet you. The mission is complete now that we've notified Haruka. You're free to do as you please now. You can train or go on a suppression mission, whatever you want. Of course, resting is part of your job too, but just sitting around will dampen your skills, so don't get too comfortable. I'll head out. I'll go too, Major. Me too. All right, if that's what you want. Kasane, you come with me. Naomi, you help Haruka support us. I want to go too. No, you can't. Did someone from my family talk to you? No, you're still tired from training today. I just think you need some rest. Kasane is still good to go. You understand, right? Yes. All right, let's head to Kikuchiba. new guy right on time as you can see I'm in the middle of something do you think you could help me out of course at your service you don't need to be so formal age and rank don't mean much here oh okay I would like to help as well good answer Gemma connect Yuito to the SAS affirmative Arashi, can you use your hypervelocity to get behind the target? Do I get hazard pay? That's something you should take up with Major General Fubuki. <sighs> Fine, I'll help. You two handle the front while I take the back. <sighs> away to the others it happens the crows have a right to use their drones to broadcast but I know how you feel all right you guys promise to back up my story later okay what for real oh, she, you're going to be reprimanded so get your story straight and back me up Yuito, your power is psychokinesis, right? Use their remnants as you see fit. You can drop any crows that show up after, too. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thanks, you two. I guess you could say you're my guardian angels. What are you doing here? I just... well... I thought I saw an other I was looking for around here. I came alone to check, and then this happened. How embarrassing. Anyway, we have to look for my commander. Apparently, he lured away this crazy other when he came to help me. Captain Seto, is he here too? He is. I'm sorry, but can you do one more favor for me? I can't leave my commander behind. Yes, let's go after him. He's a Septentrion, so he can't be killed that easily, but better to be safe. 
again. Ugh, oh, that was way too much work. I don't feel like doing anything now. What are we gonna do about destroying the Crow's drones? Intentionally interfering with their reporting is against military regulation. We accidentally mistook it for another and destroyed it. It happens. Got it? Yes, it was an unfortunate accident. Though I'm not sure how I feel about this. Hey, don't worry about it. You showed promise. All right, we'll leave it at that. We did what we had to. Now let's get back to Suo. Yes. Hey, Gamma. What? Your leg. You look like you're limping. Did you get hurt? Oh, you're right. This isn't good. Running into more others now would be bad news. I'm fine. If you're limping, you must be in pain. We should at least do some first aid. No, it's dangerous out here. We need to move. I know a place. My family has a unit around here we use as an emergency shelter when we travel to Ceyron. We should be able to treat you safely there. That's great. Show us the way. Copy that. I'll send you the coordinates now. Okay, you're right. That is close. Gemma, you just have to tough it out until we get there. I'm fine. Stop it. I know you, and you're always pushing yourself too hard. That's a Septentrion for you. Kyoka! And is that Kagero and Kasane? It's not safe around here. It looks like the other's numbers are growing around Togetsu. Kasane! You're so cool, Captain. I think I might be falling for you. Oh, what a man. Knock it off. Your praise never sounds genuine. Are you hurt, Kasane? Oh, no, I'm fine. Good, I'm glad. Oh, that's not good. Your back is bleeding, Seto. <laughs> it's just a scratch. You got that defending me. I'm sorry. No, this is my fault. Don't worry about it. Let me see. This is bad, Captain. We need to treat this. This place isn't safe. Luca could move us if he were here. Um, there's an emergency shelter near here that the Randall family used to use when they traveled to Togetsu. It will be safe there. I'll send you the coordinates. Oh, that's good. Captain? Major Kyoka? Let's go. Sorry. I'll show you the way. So this is the Sumeragi Family Evacuation Unit. It's a lot fancier than your standard unit. You think so? I know. We should tell Seto about this place and make it a safe house for Seto Platoon. It's like a little hideout. It feels perfect. What's a safe house? It's like an evacuation site each team has that's separate from headquarters. OSF refers to them as hideouts. They come in handy when we're faced with casualties like today. Oh, that's right. Gemma, let me see your leg. You're not fine at all. Look at all the blood. Stop trying to tough everything out. I wasn't doing it intentionally. I just couldn't feel the pain because of all the adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Yuito, you looked comfortable with medical treatments. I'm impressed. I had health problems as a kid, so I have a lot of experience taking care of my own injuries. I see. I'm sure your parents were pretty busy. Yeah. You know who my father is, and my mother was killed by another when I was five. 
We had a maid at home, but I just got used to doing everything on my own. It's good to be independent. Though not sure that's very convincing coming from me. Yeah, you could learn to do a few more things on your own, so Major General Fubuki won't have to worry so much. Major General Fubuki? What does he have to do with Arashi? I thought it was common knowledge. Fubuki and I are siblings. What? You're the Major General's younger sister? The other way around. You can't judge anyone in the OSF by our appearance. I'm Fubuki's older sister. Or she has the potential to rival even the Septentrions if she stops slacking off. How rude, Gemma. I just hate wasting my energy. What do you say we rest here? Even if we go back to Suo, all that's waiting for us there is paperwork and nosy crow news interviews. Hello, everyone. Hmm. Aren't you the daughter of the Ichijo OSF Hospital Chairman? Captain Arashi Spring? Call me Arashi, please. Every year, you newbies have the same reaction. I'm sorry. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Hanabi Ichijo. The hospital is run by my uncle, who's the head of the family, so we aren't directly involved. I see. Well, I suppose it's best if both of us avoid connections to hospitals and pharmaceuticals. Hanabi, did you bring it? Yes, I brought medication and emergency rations. Were the supplies here in this unit that old? A lot of them were past their expiration date. I mean, my dad hasn't been to Ceyron in a long time, so I guess it's understandable. Oh, don't worry, Gemma. The medication and bandages I used on you weren't expired. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. You two seem close. Did you know each other before joining the OSF? We're childhood friends. Not surprising the Ichijo and Sumeragi families would be acquainted. Well, you've come all this way. Why don't you stay and make yourself comfortable? Y yes Sounds like Arashi calls the shots. So this is the Randall Shelter Unit. Rich people even have comfy shelters. This is a nice place. We could get a lot of work done if we used it as a hideout. A hideout? What do you mean? Oh, you haven't heard yet. Each team has a safe house outside of headquarters that we call hideouts. We use them as relay points if someone is hurt far from headquarters, and when we need to resupply or rest during missions. They're basically secret bases. Hey, could we use this place as Kyoka Platoon's hideout? You say some crazy things sometimes, Major Kyoka. This safe house is civilian-owned? I don't mind. The Randalls have more safe houses than they know what to do with. I found the first aid kit. Captain Seto, I'll patch you up. Please show me your back. The wound was pretty deep. I'm glad we found a first aid station. Sorry to bother you with it. You haven't treated many wounds, have you? Did I do something wrong? No, you just looked a little unsteady. Your hands were shaking. You're not just the cold hard warrior I thought you were. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this, Captain Seto. I've never really done this before. I'm usually the one that gets hurt. My sister is much better at this than I am. Oh my! So little Miss Randall is a tomboy. Actually, I'm adopted, so I don't count as a member of the Randall family. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Well, all families have their problems. I'm an immigrant from Togetsu and joined the OSF as an adult. It's, uh, complicated. As an adult? Someone scouted to the OSF much later in life. The elites treat us just as badly as the volunteer soldiers. Come on now. I don't treat you that badly, Kagero. That's why I love you, Captain. There you go again. Anyway, thanks for fixing me up, Kasane. You're welcome. Since we're here, we should probably get some rest. Seto shouldn't be moving until the bleeding has stopped. All right, time to get some shut-eye. Weren't you saying you were looking for another? Did you find it? What do you mean, did you find it? 
How could I? I was attacked by two major others. Oh, I see. Well, if you're going to act like that, then how about you do something for me? What? W what do you want? You know the fountain pen I got as a gift from Major General Karin when I was made a Septentrion? I think I dropped it somewhere in Kikuchiba. Uh, you mean that really expensive looking platinum decorated fountain pen? That's the one. Think you can help me buy a new one with your savings? Captain, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> I'm kidding. I shouldn't have been walking around with something so important, but it bothers me not having it. What a mess. Hmm? What's wrong, Kasane? Oh, nothing. This was the first time someone got hurt because of me. I said don't worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna get some rest. It's Naomi Randall. I'm coming in. Thank you for coming all this way. Sorry you had to go shopping just because I got hurt. Don't worry about it. This unit hasn't been used in a long time, so it's out of a lot of things. I apologize for the inconvenience. There's nothing for you to apologize about. That's right. We're the ones who just barged in here. Thanks, sis. Don't mention it. I'm so happy you trusted me with this. Aren't you being too easy on your little sister? Maybe, but she's so cute I could just eat her up. Naomi... <laughs> Must be nice. Oh, Sheedan, you don't have to look so sad. I think you're cute, too. <laughs> what makes you think I was sad? <laughs> I'm glad you're getting along with your new platoon so well, Sheedan. Hey, I know you requested to transfer to my team. I'm sorry we couldn't take you. Captain Seto. A transfer request? If you can do that, maybe Naomi and I can transfer together. Hmm. And then what? I guess things are fine the way they are. <sighs> I haven't been on a relaxing walk like this in a while. Me neither. I've been on missions constantly since being assigned. We need to take time for ourselves like this now and then. So, what were you doing between the time you were scouted and the time you joined? Well, during my time at the Academy, I studied, trained my power, and hung out with friends. Me too. I guess there's not too much difference between the scouted and volunteer soldiers. Yeah, we were both headed to the same place in the end. What about everything else? How are your parents? They're both doing great. Just the other day, they kept messaging me while they were on a date for their wedding anniversary. <laughs> They're so carefree. I'm glad to hear they haven't changed. I found myself ignoring their calls for a while. It feels nice to talk like this again. It's only been two years, but it feels like we haven't seen each other for much longer. Yeah, it really does. Are you okay? It's nothing. Anyway, can I ask you something? Sure. What's up? So, um... What do you think about Kasane? Huh? Why are you suddenly bringing up Kasane? Well, you know, we're catching up. I wanted to ask you something that must be on your mind. And it seems like you've been thinking about Kasane. A lot. It did? Well, I guess I've been curious about her. What do you mean by that? I don't know how to put it. I can't get Kasane's face out of my mind. You can't? No. Her face looks exactly like the person who saved me when I was a kid. I'll never forget that face. So when I met someone who had the same face, I started to wonder if they were somehow related. Oh, so it's just because she looks like the person who saved your life? Yeah, that's right. The reason why I even volunteered for the OSF is because I wanted to be like the person who saved my life. She's the ideal image of what the OSF should be. <sighs> that wasn't exactly the direction I was going for, but I guess that's fine. Then what did you want to know? I'll try to answer. It's okay. It's not a big deal. You know, 
You're really amazing. You've had this goal since you were a child, and you've been working towards it all your life. <laughs> no, I'm not amazing at all. You're way more amazing, because you were actually scouted. That's not true. Being scouted meant that I had no choice but to enlist. You didn't want to join the OSF? It's not that, but I never thought about what I wanted to do in the OSF. That's so like you. You're more comfortable taking action than you are thinking. Hey, that seems like a roundabout way of calling me stupid. What? No, I, I didn't mean it like that at all. You just put more stock into being proactive. Wait, uh, that's not much better. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know what you mean. Ready to head back to the hideout? Yeah. Thanks for inviting me out. I'm really glad we got to talk like this again. I had fun too. Um, do you want to talk again like this sometime? <laughs> that sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, it's a promise. Don't forget. I won't. You better not forget either. I definitely won't. Well, let's head back to the hideout. She hasn't changed. She's so cheerful and energetic. I feel recharged. Major, there's a matter I wish to... Oh, Kasane, we're not on a mission. You don't need to call me Major. Are you sure? Yes. Let's forget about our ranks when we're in private. Just speak freely. Okay, in that case... Kyoka, there's something I want to talk to you about. Sure, ask me anything. Are you feeling sick? Or is there some problem you're struggling with? No, I was just wondering if you could give me some advice on combat, like you did when I was a cadet. You're quite formidable as it is. I don't think there's anything you need to change about your fighting style. Hmm. Oh, there is another important element when it comes to combat other than powers or strategies. It's luck. Luck? Yes. I think it's important to maintain good luck to avoid unforeseen accidents. I know. Let me give you something. It's a protective charm I got recently that's really special. It'll protect you from danger. I don't really want it, but it'd be rude to refuse. I'll just take it for now and put it away somewhere. You have to keep it on you all the time, during battles and even your everyday life. It won't be effective otherwise. <sighs> oh, I'm so glad I was able to give you that charm. Now I won't have to worry when I can't be there with you. Kyoka, I have a favor to ask you. Could you not be so nice to me? What? What do you mean by that? You've always taken care of me as my superior officer since my days at the Academy. But we're both in the OSF together now. I want you to look at me like an equal, instead of someone in constant need of taking care of. I guess I have been a little too overprotective. And I don't think I can accept this protection charm. It'll get in the way during battle. What? I see. My charm... is a nuisance. I see. I didn't think she'd get this upset. Hmm. <sighs> Was it too much? How come you always look after everyone in the platoon? I didn't have a family when I was growing up. That's why I consider my OSF platoon my family. But as long as you keep fighting in the OSF, you can't avoid goodbyes. It hurt me every time I've lost a friend in battle. <sighs> I was so concerned about never wanting to go through the pain again. I've become overly sensitive about losing my friends. I'm sorry for pushing my selfish feelings on you. I'm sure you don't need that extra burden. I guess to her, everyone in the platoon is like what Naomi is to me. Family. I guess I understand how you feel now. That doesn't bother me at all. Look after us all you want if that's what makes you happy. Do what you need to do. Thank you. Hearing you say that makes me so happy. 
You've grown so much. This still seems like overkill, but there's no real harm in taking it. I know. Would you take this protection charm too? I hear that having two will double the benefits. I think one is enough. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, what is it? I'm glad you get straight to the point. I was getting tired of people who force small talk. <laughs> Thanks. I figured... Is there anyone you like? What? Why is she asking me that? Does she? What's your type? What are your plans for your future? Are you interested in taking over Randall Industries? Wait, hold on! Why are you asking me that? I'm running a background check. Is that why you called me here? Not just that. Captain Seto seems to have dropped his fountain pen around here somewhere. I wanted to talk to you anyway, so I thought I'd ask you what you knew about it. His fountain pen? Well, now that you mention it, I guess Captain Seto did have a nice one. How come you're looking for it? So even you like to ask too many questions. What? That's a perfectly normal question to ask. Don't look at me like that. We can talk while we look for the pen. Hey, you came. Thank you. Now, about my message. I'm glad you get straight to the point. I was getting tired of people who force small talk. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry, let me just say something first. Hmm? What is it? Is there anyone you like? What? What's your type? What are your plans for your future? Are you interested in taking over Randall Industries? Wait, hold on. Why are you asking me that? He'll take advantage of Naomi if he figures out how she feels. Who wouldn't be thrilled to be liked by her? I'm running a background check. Is that the reason? Is that why you agreed to see me? Not just that. Captain Seto seems to have dropped his fountain pen around here somewhere. I wanted to talk to you anyway, so I thought I'd ask you what you knew about it. His fountain pen? Well, now that you mention it, I guess Captain Seto did have a nice one. How come you're looking for it? Why? I wonder. So even you like to ask too many questions. Huh? Don't look at me like that. We can talk while we look for the pen. I guess you're not as useless in battle as I thought. Oh man, she's really harsh. Hey, I have something I want to ask you too. Is that alright? What? When I was little, I was attacked by another and almost died. But then someone from the OSF saved me, and she looked just like you. So, I was wondering if you knew anything about it. We're about the same age. When you were a child, I would have been one too. No, I mean, maybe you have a much older sister. Shh, quiet. <laughs> An enemy. Get ready to fight. Okay. I guess you're not as useless in battle as I thought. That was unexpected. I think he might be able to protect Naomi. Hey, I have something I want to ask you, too. Is that all right? What? When I was little, I was attacked by another and almost died. But then someone from the OSF saved me, and she looked just like you. So, I was wondering if you knew anything about it. We're about the same age. When you were a child, I would have been one too. No, I mean, maybe you have a much older sister. Shh, quiet. <laughs> An enemy. Get ready to fight. Okay. <sighs> Looks like we won. Huh? Isn't that Captain Seto's fountain pen behind you?
This is it? Thanks. You were a big help. Anyway, back to what you were saying. About the OSF person who saved me? Did you check the OSF registry? Of course, but I didn't find her. I thought maybe she was discharged. Oh, right. The person who saved me had the exact same hair clip as that one. Can you tell me where you bought yours? That's not possible. My sister made this for me. What? Really? Hmm. Your power is psychokinesis, too. Do you think you might be having realistic dreams? Dreams? Hmm. I can't really say for sure. I was a kid at the time, and my memory is a bit hazy. I've always had strange dreams. Oddly realistic dreams. A woman mutters something about red strings, and then red threads encircle me like a cocoon. I thought my dreams were real when I was a child. It was confusing. I thought that since you also have psychokinesis, maybe you had realistic dreams too. No, I'm sure it wasn't a dream. It has to be real. That person gave me this ear cuff. I see. Then I don't think I can help you any further. Oh, no, I... Uh, I'm sorry. That was a weird thing to bring up. It's fine. Well, we found the fountain pen, so I guess I'll head back. Right. Thank you. That was a good background check. Oh, right. I completely forgot that was a thing. Uh... Why me? All right. Goodbye. I'll head back, too. Looks like we won. Huh? Isn't that Captain Seto's fountain pen behind you? This is it? Thanks. You were a big help. Anyway, back to what you were saying. About the OSF person who saved me? Did you check the OSF registry? Of course, but I didn't find her. I thought maybe she was discharged. Oh, right. The person who saved me had the exact same hair clip as that one. Can you tell me where you bought yours? That's not possible. My sister made this for me. What? Really? How is someone he met as a child wearing an accessory my sister made? Is his present mixing with his childhood memories? Hmm. Your power is psychokinesis too. Do you think you might be having realistic dreams? Dreams? Hmm. I can't really say for sure. I was a kid at the time, and my memory is a bit hazy. I've always had strange dreams. Oddly realistic dreams. A woman mutters something about red strings, and then red threads encircle me like a cocoon. I thought my dreams were real when I was a child. It was confusing. I thought that since you also have psychokinesis, maybe you had realistic dreams too. No. I'm sure it wasn't a dream. It has to be real. That person gave me this ear cuff. That's not possible. There must be a misunderstanding. Maybe he suffers from delusions. I see. Then I don't think I can help you any further. Oh, no, I... Uh, I'm sorry. That was a weird thing to bring up. It's fine. Well, we found the fountain pen, so I guess I'll head back. Right. Thank you. That was a good background check. He's not ready to take care of my sister yet. More importantly, I need to give back Captain Seto's fountain pen. All right. Goodbye. Excuse me, Captain Seto. I came across this, and I believe it's yours. Yes, it is. Where'd you find this? I was just in Kikuchiba and happened to find it there. It was just luck. Oh, I see. Well, thank you very much. This is very important to me. I'm glad to have it back. Yes. Well, I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to go rest. I'll be going now. That's a good idea. Rest well. 
I think I'm tired. I should rest. Is Kasane asleep? Yeah, she must have been beat. I guess that's to be expected. Everyone's nervous on their first day. So much happened. You're right. She looks like she has it together, but she can be awkward sometimes. By the way, Seto, you seem to be really concerned about Kasane. Yeah, sorry. She's your new scout, but I just can't get my mind off her. She reminds me of my first new scout. She was pretty awkward, too. I heard. A major other... Yeah, and I couldn't protect her. I'm reminded of her every time I look at Kasane. But I might have taken it too far. I'll be more careful. I'll be taking Kagero back to Suo soon. What are you gonna do? I'll wait with Naomi for Kasane to wake up. Oh, and Seto? Can you take Shiden with you too? He looks up to you, so I know he'll be happy if he can go back with you. Roger. You're so popular. I'm jealous. <laughs> well, it's an honor to hear that from the prettiest girl in the OSF. All right, see you back in Suo.